Pax Fulbis Scum every spring semester here at St. Joseph's, all the seminarians are required to fill out a self-evaluation form and then we will go over that with our formation advisors. So my formation advisor is the vice uh, rector of the seminary here. So the whole purpose of the self-evaluation is to see essentially how you've grown and uh, look into what kind of person, what kind of man you are. And then these forms are then sent to our vocation director and bishop just so they have a better idea of how we are living out like our Christian life. So the form it's comprised mostly of the four pillars of priestly formation, the spiritual pillar, the human pillar, the intellectual pillar, and the pastoral pillar. So it'll go over your human formation, you know, how do you relate to your other, I'm looking at the form right here, it says like how do you relate to your fellow brothers, how do you embrace community life, what are some of your challenges that you have in community life or in seminary? Uh, describe your use of digital technology. What role does that play in your life? Uh, are you practicing silence? And then we move on to like a chastity section, you know, describe your view of human love, sexuality, and chastity that you had before entering, and then write about how that changed. And then, you know, other questions in your spiritual life. Are you attending spiritual direction? Um, are you having daily prayer? What role does the Liturgy of the Hours play in your life? For the intellectual formation, they're talking about were you late to class? Did you attend all your classes? How did you fit studying into your schedule? Um, what's your GPA? Do you think that reflects your like best efforts and abilities for what you're capable of? The apostolic formation pillar. Um, it's talking about were you faithful to your apostolic assignment? So last semester I was working in the wharf. I made milkshakes. This semester, I again got the wharf and I make buffadillas. So that's that tortilla with the chicken, cheese, and like barbecue or hot sauce. So I'll make those on Monday for the community. And it's essentially saying like, were you faithful to your work? Did you enjoy it? What did you learn about yourself through the work? And then the last one says, do you intend to return to the seminary college next semester? And then just briefly describe your decision to do that. The self-evaluation is like a bench point, right? This is where you are. This is where you want to be. So let's take where you are and just slowly improve from that. Because if you're making improvement, you know, then that means that you're not going backwards. So, you know, just have that steady, continuous improvement of choosing God, choosing good over evil. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, pray for us.